Uh, hello, this is the Genuinely Approachable Sudoku for the 12th of January 2023. Sorry, 2023. 2024, this, this, it should be the 12th of January 2024. Uh, it is called Quattro by Clover. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. Uh, no 2x2, two two, oh sorry, so normal Sudoku rules apply means that uh, you d place the digits 1 to 9 in every row, every column, and every 3x3 three three box. Uh, no two sets of cells contain only odd or only even digits. So the uh, a set of two by twos will look a bit like that. So this is a set of two by twos. This is a two by two set. They cannot be all even or all or uh, yeah. They can't be all even or, or all odd. Wow, that's really tough to say. So you can't have something that goes seven. Uh, I don't know five. 3, 9, this is impossible because uh, you'd have them be all odd digits so that is not allowed and you can't do the same for even digits either uh, but with that those are just all the rules so let us begin solving uh, I'm gonna mark all the odd digits uh, all the odd digits are going to be orange in color and all the E, uh, yes that's an odd digit all the even digits are going to be blue because uh, I think that's what's most intuitive to people for some reason. It's intuitive to me. Uh, but notice here we have uh, almost a 2x2 two two set of cells containing all odd or even, meaning that cannot be odd and therefore must be even. Uh, this also cannot be uh, odd, so it must be even. Okay, well that's a that's a start. Let's do normal Sudoku, shall we? Yeah, where does one go in this box? Uh, these two ones see all but those cells, so that's a one, which is odd. And now we have something that almost resembles another 2x2, two two, so that cannot be uh, odd and must be even. Uh, in here, where does 7 go? 7 has to go here in this box to these 7s. So that's a 7, which must be odd. That is therefore not odd and is even. Uh, okay. Well, we can mark all... We can mark all, uh... All, uh we can mark all blue cells as 2, 4, 6, or 8. Right? Yeah, in fact, these are either 2, 4, 6, or 8, but cannot be 4, 6. So I suppose we could mark them as, uh, uh 2, 8. And then we can mark these as 2, 8 as well. Although I'm not entirely sure what that does. Okay, well, another thing we could try, I mean, we could try more Sudoku, of course. Like, where does 3 go in this box? These 3 see all but this cell, so that's a 3, which is odd. Uh, and that places 3 in one of these cells in the middle box. What about here? Where does 1 go in this box, I think? No, 1 goes in one of those cells. Oh, we got 3 here. Huh. Interesting, okay. Well, what else can we do? This one of us here sees all those cells, so one goes in one of those cells. Therefore, in this box, where does one go? In one of those cells. Uh, I guess up here, it also goes in one of those cells, so that's fine. Uh, Alright. Three in this box is one of those cells. Ah, and where does 5 go in this row? Yes, 5 can't be in any of those cells. This 5 sees that. So that's a 5. That's a 3. Both of these are odd. Uh, and therefore we know this must be even because you can't have a 2x2 two two of odd cells. Uh, another deduction we can make is actually in this column. Because from the digits 1 to 9, there are only 5 odd digits, which are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. These odd digits are all here, meaning that the remaining digits must be even digits. The, uh, and from 1 to 9, there are only 4 even digits, 2, 4, 6, 8. So these are all the even digits in this box, which means that the rest of the digits must be odd. Uh, I suppose by uh, 2 by 2 rules, these must both be odd as well. And in this box now, where does 8 go? This 8 sees all those cells, and those cells are not even, so this is 8. Uh, yeah, okay, that works, that's cool. 
So this is a 7-9 pair because it can only be 7 or 9. Which I suppose means 7 is one of those cells. Does that help? Not entirely. Can we mark these? I guess we could mark them 2, 4, 6. That can't be a 4. I know that this is pretty close to being... Uh, to having a full set of... 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 of evens. This as well, actually. I feel like there are lots of 1s, 7s and 3s around. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm missing much. Yeah, this in this box, where does 3 go? This 3 sees that, so this is 1, 3. And uh, we don't actually know which uh, way this is, if it's 1, 3 or if it's 3, 1. But we know that since both of them are odd, all of these cells are going to have to be odd at all times. Which means that in this box, these cells are to be even. In this column, because we have 4 even cells already, these must be odd. Uh, and therefore must be a 5, 9. And this 5 actually sees that, so that's a 9, that's a 5. These cells, uh, well 2 sees these cells, so the only place 2 can go is here. These cells are 4, 6 and 8. This can't be a 6. So this is very symmetrical looking, except this cell over here. We haven't figured out, you know, if there's anything up with here yet. This is actually really close to... Oh right, well by regular rules that can't be, you know, an odd number. Which does give us actually this entire row, so uh, there are already four even digits in this row, so the rest must be odd. And in fact, the even digits are either two or six. And this two over here, this ambiguous set, so that's a six, that's a two. Uh, these two must be odd because uh, you can't have two by twos like that. And in this row, we have all the odd digits, so the rest are even. In this row, we have all the even digits, so the rest are odd. Okay, yes, which means that in this row, where does, uh, sorry, yeah, where does 1 go? We know 1 goes in one of those cells in this row. The 3 actually can't go there, so 3 also goes in one of those cells. Meaning that it's actually a 1-3 pair. This is therefore a 7, which sees that, making that a 9, that's a 7. Uh... This can't be 6, 8, or 2, so it must be 4, because it's even, which sees that, so that's an 8. Uh, cool. Oh, this means that that is even. I think these are even as well by similar logic, the 2x2 two two thing. So that's great. These are all the 4 even cells, so that's odd. Uh, we don't have that here, actually. So that's somewhat different. Oh, but right, where does 7 and 9 go here? This cell can't be 9 or 7, so these are 9 and 7. Meaning that this cell is a 3, which disambiguates this pair. Yeah, that's a 3, disambiguates this pair. Uh, Alright. So these cells are 2 and 9, right? Yes, a 9 can't be there, so that's a 9. That's 2. And we can color those in as well. Uh, uh, these are all the EA odd digits in this box, so this is even. Which means that these are 6 and 8. Which we haven't actually uh, figured out yet, but these are therefore 2, 4, 5. Hey, those are my numbers. The 2 goes there, the, uh, the, the, sorry, the 4 does not go there, the 2 doesn't go there. Uh, we can't really mark the colors here yet because it's a mix of odd and even, so we're not entirely sure. Uh, what else can we do? I mean, definitely... Oh, yes, these uh, all form four even digits in this row. Sorry, in this column, so that is odd. Uh, yeah, it doesn't, that doesn't change anything. Mm-hmm. That does not change anything. Anything else though? I want to say there's some interesting logic here, but I think we could just use this instead. Because these are all the digits, uh, all the even, all the odd digits. Wow, I can't speak, so these are all even. Right, these are all even. This can't be 2, 4, or 6, so that is an 8. And actually in this column, we have all the even digits, so the remaining digits are odd. Uh... Which, which are, well, they're 1 and 9, right? And this 1 sees that. 
So that's nine. That's one. Uh, these cells, actually, these cells are two and four. These cells are six, five, six, and eight, which we can't do yet. So eight can't go there. Six can't go there. So what? What are these? These are three, four, five, and eight, I think. And then these are two. Two, five, six, nine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, by this one, uh, that has to be even. That can actually be even if I wanted it to be. There's actually a, a bit more interesting logic regarding these cells. That forces one of these to be uh, even. I don't think I have to use that though, so I won't talk about it. Uh, but if you really want to know, one of these cells are even. Uh, you can try and figure out why. Uh, okay, in this column, these four cells are always... Uh, well, these four cells are even, so that's odd. Which does, in fact, prove my theory that one of these are even and one of these are odd. Uh, I don't see much else I can do with coloring. So maybe it's time to do some regular Sudoku. Okay, Sudoku time. Uh... <laughs> Right? No, no, this is a 1. Sorry, it's, it's, the, it's the last uh, odd digit hasn't been placed yet, so that is just a 1. This is therefore even, which is... which makes that an odd digit. So these are 3 and 5. Uh, is that an X-Wing? Yeah, that is an X-Wing. One of these are the 3 and one of these are 3. In general, there is a... Uh, that these two columns over here, they must contain two threes because there's one three in each column. There is one three here and there's one three here. So those are the two threes in those two columns, meaning nowhere else in these two columns can there be a three. So that can't be a three, meaning that's a three. That might have been a little bit complicated for uh, gas, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. This is therefore either 5 or 9, I think. It could be both. Uh, this is 2 or 6. Ooh, chocolate teapot. Actually, that's a 2, 5, 6. Yeah, that's a 2, 5, 6 triple, so that can't be 5. I mean, that's just a 9. Uh, okay. So where does 5 go in this box? Well, it goes in one of those cells, which points at this cell, making that a 3. That's a 5. Sorry, 5. Uh, so in this box, 5 uh, by these cells, and this cell makes that a 5. These are therefore 7 and 9, which is disambiguated by this 7. That's a 9, that's a 7. Uh, this 7 sees that, so that's a 9, that's a 7. Uh, okay, this is 4 or 8, and then this is, oh well this 4 sees that, so that's 8. That disambiguates this, and disambiguates that, which is there, and there goes that, so that is 2 and 4. 4 actually sees that as well, so that's 4 here and 2 there. Uh, this is therefore a 6 because in the column, and actually this 1 over here sees that, so that's 3, that's 1. Uh, this can't be 6 anymore, so it's 2. Meaning that this is ambiguate, this ambiguated as well. Uh, this is a 4, this is a 2, this is not disambiguated. But we could probably fix that. So those are all even. That's odd. Therefore, well, well uh, I think it's regular Sudoku, even more regular Sudoku. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Right? We've got basically all the even digits now. There's a 5x wing over here that we can't figure out. So it's time to look at the even digits. So 6 in this box. This 6 sees those cells, so that's a 6. This is therefore 2, 8. Which is seen by this 8, so that makes this a 2, that's an 8. This 2 sees that, so that's a 4, that's a 6. Wait, what? Oh, that's a 2, sorry. Why do I think that was a 4, 6 pair? This 4 sees that, this is a 4, 6 pair. So that's a 6, that's a 4. Alright, this in the column must therefore be a 4. 
This is actually 5-8. Ah, and this almost looks really bad, but we can use our final, final rule one last time. This cannot be odd, so it must be even, so it must be 8. Nice, that's cool. There you go. And before we finish this, I'm just going to colour in all the ruining colours. So we can see this puzzle in its uh, orange and blue. Oh wow, it's actually really pretty. It's uh, it's rotationally symmetrical. Look at that. It almost looks diagonally symmetrical too. I mean, it's not exactly because these are uh, uh, they don't have a diagonal counterpart. But the rest of the rest of the thing is almost. Wow, yeah, that is so cool. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, yes, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.